Welcome to the Prophecy Club. <laughs> I got a lot of really important stuff today, and that's not exactly good news. Unfortunately, our nation has fallen away from Jesus, and we've fallen away from what blessed us and raised us up, and these sort of things come. Okay, topics. Russian missile drills in Cuba. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like the, the Cuban Missile Crisis of what 1962 or something like that. It's happening again, only this time we're not standing up to them. FDA caused food shortage, mark of the beast, death of the dollar, American internal revolution. All right, I'm reminding you that uh, two people, these two here emails, said that the word usher does not necessarily mean It'll happen during the 49 days of the counting of Omer, which would be by June 16th. So even after June 16th, we will continue to watch for the headline, Omer ushers in Palestinian state. All right, Russian missile drills. This is, this is huge. Bad omen. This is from War News 247. Russia mobilized. Look, look at what it says. This is really important. Bad omen, Russia mobilized all nuclear forces from Arctic Ocean to North Sea. Baltic Fleet received nuclear Moscow. That's one of their nuclear, uh, apparently, ships that float on the, the, the surface. Again, I'm not a military guy. I'm bringing to you what they write. Russia today unexpectedly expanded the geographic area of tactical, look at this, tactical nuclear weapons exercises to include the Leningrad military formation. I looked that up, I couldn't find it. In addition to the Southern Military District. This is a deliberate deception of NATO, which has now realized that Russia is not carrying out simple exercises, but in fact, Russia, this mobilization coincides with the arrival of Russian ships in Cuba. Strange timing? No. This is God getting ready to take out America because of her sin. Matter of fact, I've been praying about possibly making a program where I go into Revelation and show you step by step where the Russians attack America and where Jesus returns and why I say it's about four months before Jesus returned on the last Feast of Trumpets. The Leningrad military sector stretches from the border with Norway in the north to Belarus and includes the Northern Fleet and the Kaliningrad Enclave in the Baltic Sea between Lithuania, Lithuania and Poland, if you want to look it up on a map. Virtually all military formations of the Russian Army, Navy, and Air Force are participating. Are you hearing this? Russia and Germany, and others are preparing for war. Now, what are we doing? Well, we're changing our sex. We're letting men play in women's sports, and we're teaching our military to be woke. So the Russian Army, Navy, and Air Force are all participating in exercises. Look at tactical nuclear weapons. This is not a joke. I mean, Russia is serious. Russia is seriously getting prepared to destroy America, the prophecies say, in one hour. From the North Pole to the Black Sea. The purpose is to spread a nuclear protection shield all along Russia's European borders from the Arctic Ocean to the Black Sea. They're preparing, they're preparing for war. The article goes on to say, Russian Ministry of Defense, Moskit, that's, I think, one of their boats. Moskit, anti-ship missile loaded, with a nuclear warhead. The Russian Ministry of Defense has shown the equipment of a tar Tarantal class Corvette, that's a boat, of the Blitzkrieg feet with a nuclear tipped M3 M80 forward slash 82 Moscow anti ship cruise missile. In other words, this is a missile that can take out an aircraft carrier. This missile is designed to sink NATO aircraft carriers. Today, Moscow admitted that the ships of the Russian Navy are also participating in the exercises. Crews will equip ships and boats with crew missiles carrying special warheads. Okay, what does that mean? They're talking about a nuclear warhead that would take out an aircraft carrier. One missile gets through, aircraft carrier gone in a 
puff of fire. Russia said today that soldiers and sailors from the northern Nilingad military sector are taking part in training exercises to develop tactical nuclear weapons. How much blatant and open do you have to get? But now, what's the Biden administration doing? Clapping their hands. Because this is part of their plan to take down America, just like opening up our borders and letting our enemies send in I mean, they say that there's some 50,000 Chinese in America. Now, one of the articles I, po- I, I like really pointed out something important. He says, you don't get out of China by accident. 50,000 Chinese were not coming to the new land for a new job. They were sent by China to be an invasion force. So these some 6 million people come in, in among them, it's not just women and children, not just people coming for freedom, not just people looking for another job. This is the hand of God. I showed you, I think it's Jer- Jeremiah 50 or 51, says, and I will fill thee with men as with caterpillars. This is the hand of God sending an invasion force in to destroy the sin in his favorite nation. It used to be favorite nation. Personnel from the Leningrad Military Sector Missile Unit are practicing nuclear combat training missions. If this was done 50 years ago, 40 years ago, 30 years ago, look, it would have been all over the news. We would have put a stop to it. But today, Biden administration saying nothing. And I might add, you're not hearing this on the news either. Okay, so this is continuing from the same site. The MODRF has published footage from the second stage of the exercise of non-strategic nuclear forces, this time involving the Iskander M Operational Tactical Missile System. I think one, maybe all three of these are are actually hypersonic. And I think it was 37 times the speed of Santa. That number might be wrong. Here's more. Missile formations of the Leningrad Military District are working out combat training tasks for obtaining special training ammunition to attack America. Uh, you know, there's not a prophecy that says that they attack Europe. Yes, there's going to be a big war, and they, they will. But the big prophecy says all of this is to take out America. What you're seeing is the hand of God taking out the sinful nation. They were loaded loaded with nuclear X-32s and TU-22M3S. These bombers also participate in the exercises with the regular nuclear forces of Russia. Okay, this is not just Army. Okay, these are specific forces designed to aim and fire nuclear weapons. The Russians admit that the drills involve Russian strategic aircraft carrying nuclear-tipped supersonic missiles. Are you looking at this? Okay, so, you know, I first heard that America was going to be attacked. Well, the fall of America would start with an internal revolution. I heard that in February of 1988. This is the first time since then I have seen such open and blatant preparation for it. Now... This ought to be about the only thing on news. This is more important than Hunter. Frankly, this is more important than Trump. Because if Russia takes us out with hundreds of nuclear missiles that are 250 to 350 times more powerful than what Hiroshima or Nagasaki, uh, nothing else matters. This, this is really, really serious. Which, by the way, I know it sounds crazy, but you got to send this out. you got to forward this on to your friends. They have to know about it. So he, he says, We remind you that the military formations with the Iskander and MiG-31 with 9S nuclear version have already been mobilized. In other words, they already have nuclear weapons on boats, submarines, and airplanes. Russian Ministry of Defense videos showed at least three MiG-31s with these Kinzhal supersonic missiles on them. Bad omen. Russia mobilized all nuclear forces from Arctic to North Sea. Baltic fleet received nuclear. Now, this is a picture. I don't think that this is a mobile 
something to do with military. It's not a house. Inside that is probably a nuclear weapon. Now, further, could Russia deploy ballistic missiles in Mexico? Yes. And this article is saying that's exactly what they're doing. What did the angel say to Dimitri? The fall of America would start with an internal revolution in America, started by the communists. Some of the people will start fighting against the government. That's probably the people that will come across our border. The government will be busy with the internal problems, all of the terrorists that have been let in the last four years. Then from the oceans, Russia, Cuba, Nicaragua, Mexico, Central America. This, these weapons they're talking about bringing into Mexico are going to be killing us. Some of us may be watching this right now. This may be the way you die. Russians on Kremlin state TV yesterday declared that Mexico was the military ally and they're wanting to place the missiles on Mexican territory so Mexico can attack the United States. How much obvious does it have to get? By the way, why is it that the pastor in DFW area has to be telling people probably high up in government that don't even know the significance of this. A few days earlier, pundits on the Russian media advertised, advised Moscow to station nuclear-capable ballistic missiles in the Caribbean also in retaliation for NATO nations approving Kyiv's use of weapon resource from the West to launch an attack within Russian territory. We, America, we are the problem. We are the ones starting the fight. We're the one kicking the sand on the guy in the parking lot. We're the guy that's doubling up our fist. 60 Minutes. Okay, everybody's heard of 60 Minutes program. Focused on NATO escalation, specifically about Kiev receiving an increasing number of long-range weapons, including soon-to-arrive F-16 fighter jets. Now, the thing of it is, is the Biden administration would only let the F-16 fighter jets go that are nuclear capable. What does that mean? That means that every time Russia spots an F-16 in Ukraine or anywhere near Russia, it can assume that it has a nuclear weapon on board. Now, here's the problem. None of the airfields in Ukraine are capable of having F-16s. They don't have the maintenance. They don't have the airfield. They don't have the people that can run it. There's a big problem. So that means that they have to come from a NATO country. Okay, what NATO country? Well, Russia has already said, if you fly a weapon from another soil other than Ukraine, or even if it is in Ukraine, and it goes onto Russian territory and attacks us, that nation from which that weapon, whatever it is, originated, now becomes a target. And NATO is talking, I mean, like Poland, they're talking about attacking Russia from the land that is part of NATO. So, I mean, we're, we're talking about maybe in a few days, but probably a, a few weeks and hopefully a few months. I don't think it's a few years. We're talking about this thing is going to blow up and get really, really bad. Updated. Explosions seen off Florida coast. Breaking news. Russian ships conduct missile drills off coast of Florida. I've never seen it. Look, if this had happened in the days of Kennedy, this would have meant war. We would absolutely not have put up with this. But the problem is, is we started it. Russian warships are conducting missile drills in the waters off the coast of Florida near Cuba with hypersonic missiles, which we cannot shoot down, hypermissile missiles on board, ready to launch. It carries hypersonic Zircon missiles, staged the computer drills with high-precision weapons against naval groups of a mock enemy, in other words, America. This is an actual picture if you look here, the, the center kind of lower area here, down here, this is what they're seeing from the beaches uh, in Florida. They are seeing Russia practicing using their nuclear weapons 
on America. My guess is you won't hear this on the news either. That's the reason if you don't have one of these, got one right here, I recommend you go to empshield.com. Now, if you get hit one of those big ones, <laughs> the big nuclear weapons, doesn't matter. But this is great to protect you from some kind of a suitcase nuke that's maybe, maybe will just fry your computer chips. But if you want your car to start, if you want your computer to still work, empshield.com. Promo code PROPHECY gets you a $50 discount and it helps your Prophecy Club. All right, on to the next topic. Next topic, FDA caused food shortage. It's called regulations. Remember, Trump reduced the regulations. The Biden has put them on two or three times heavier. 28 different sodas, drinks recalled, mug root beer, Fiji water, and Powerade among the pulled items. Now, you can go in and read all of it, but here's essentially what they're saying. It says here, recalled because they can be harmful. Okay, they're linked to respiratory issues. It didn't say they cause, but they're linked to respiratory. In other words, they are causing these, the FDA is purposely causing recalls. Why? Because evil people in high places are in the process of removing our food and our water so that one day, if you don't have the mark of the beast, you'll not be by or sell. Recalled for containing anti-inflammatory drugs. <laughs> Never listed on the table. Well, probably they've been in there for years. Truth be known. But now all of a sudden the FDA is finding all kinds of bad things in things that we, I mean, like the Berkey water filters. Uh, Berkey water filters have been having silver in their filters at least 25 years that I know of. Now all of a sudden they jump up, take them off the market because they found silver. And it was actually, silver's good to be there because it keeps it, the viruses and things like that from growing. In other words, regulations, people in high places are trying to kill us, trying to destroy our nation. The drink is recalled due to a concern that there might, did you catch that? There's a concern. It might have foreign metal. and didn't, didn't say that they proved them. Didn't say they found it. Goes on to say they might contain bacteria or they might have misleading claims. All of this is taking our food away, our water away. Over 20,000 pounds of raw beef products recalled for lack of inspection. In other words, they didn't find anything wrong. It's just that they missed the inspection as they came in. Now, this I sort of agree with because they came in from Uruguay, and I don't know what kind of beef, beef Uruguay is selling us. So I, I don't want bad things in our food and our water. I agree with that. But on the other hand, I, it, it looks like they're being overzealous to me. That's my concern. My suggestion, josephskitchen.com. So right now they're, they're overstocked on red wheat. They want to get rid of the wet red wheat, so they're making this special. Buy one pail of red wheat and get another wheel, red wheel, <laughs> pail of red wheat free. Buy one, get one free while supplies last. Josephskitchen.com. Now, what does that mean? Well, one loaf of bread feeds a person, one person, for about a week. Each bucket makes about 28 loaves, which means one bucket feeds one person for about six months. My suggestion is right down here. Get eight pails, feed four people for about one year, and right now they'll double it. So if you buy eight, they'll send you 16 pails. That'll feed six, well, eight people for a year or four people for two years. And it's nitrogen-packed, so it's going to keep for lots and lots of years. Okay, how many we don't know. But... Even if you're not making it into bread, you can boil it and eat it like, uh, uh, like cereal or something like that. So my suggestion right here, josephskitchen.com. Get it while they're doing a summer blowout. Uh, very good deal. Now let's talk about Mark of the Beast. U.S. government will ban Americans from air travel effective May 2025 unless, unless... You have the new federalized real ID driver's license. Understand, this is just one more step moving to where you won't be able to buy or sell 
or get on an airline or do anything else unless you have the mark of the beast. This is where it's all going. The IRH, IHR amendments also give WHO member states the authority to use surveillance to address issues of disinformation and misinformation, meaning if you're doing or saying something they don't like, they can call that disinformation or misinformation. I mean, that's the reason YT <laughs> took us off because we broke their information rules, okay? It's getting worse. So they don't spell out and define the meaning of address. We should assume this. In other words, all of this is evil in high places, destroying our country, destroying us and killing us. I'll let you read the rest of it. The U.S. government plans to launch this heavily criticized uh, federal ID program called Real ID for Domestic and Air Travel, May 7, 2025. So, if you don't have it, you won't get on an airplane by May 7, 2025, just to let you know. Now, death of the dollar. Moscow Stock Exchange halts trades in dollars and euros. Okay, so... It doesn't make any difference whether people want to trade in dollars or not. At least Moscow, at least Russia, is shutting them down where they can. The Moscow Exchange announced minutes ago that it will not conduct trading in dollars and euros starting June 13th. Now, I, I'm recording this June 12th. This is June 13th's program, so probably by the time you watch this, it's already happened. The United States is imposing sanctions on the Moscow Exchange and the National Clearing Center. In other words, once again, we, America, we are causing this, or the Biden administration is causing this. I have to say, Biden administration, if your objective is to destroy America, you're doing a wonderful job. If your objective is to help America, you're not doing very good. So rumors are swirling in Moscow right now that say that Russia may have to, quote, take out. The U.S. stock exchanges by placing them on a target list of decision-making centers. I assume that that's cyber attacks. 800-200-4653. If you have money, look, at I'm telling you, if you have money, you better call and talk to these guys. If it's in paper, if you got a gold, silver, or something like that, you're probably in pretty good shape. But, I mean, let's say you got an IRA or a 401k and your life savings in it. Look, look, I mean, the prophecies say, here's what the prophecies say. It's going to go down by 30%, a couple of months later, 30%, a couple of months later, worthless as leaves blowing in the wind. So if your money is in paper, you better call and talk to these guys. 800-200-GOLD-4653. Now, let's talk about American internal revolution. I'm shocked to see this one. This is from Gateway Pundit, unhinged conspiracy theorist Rachel Maddow, Maddow fear mongers about Trump sending her to immigrant camps. Now, I don't think it's a rumor. I think that, as I've talked about in my whole program on it, I think people in high places have the looking glass where they can see things into the future. I also think that they have a time machine where they can physically move to any point in the past, the present, any place on the globe, and perhaps even any place in the solar system. Maybe all that Stargate stuff is not just entertainment. Now, here's the point. They're openly avowing that he plans to build camps to hold millions of people and to root out what he's described in subhuman terms as his enemy from within. Well, I don't recall him saying that other than he would drain the swamp. But we have Terry Bennett. And, of course, Demetri Dudeman said the internal revolution. But Terry Bennett. And then, uh, what's the other guy's name? Ruskin. And then um, Shane Warren. So we have three different people saying that what she's claiming here is actually true. Now, if she hasn't done anything wrong, if she hasn't broken the law then she has nothing to fear. But my understanding is that the roundups are supposed to be during the internal revolution when they bring in a new currency system and they start cleaning house. That's the rumor. When Trump invokes the Insurrection Act to deploy, this is Rachel Maddow saying this. Now, I had heard that before Trump left office, he signed the Insurrection Act. What does that mean? It means that it 
moved the power of the military into the hands, excuse me, it moved the power from Trump into the hands of the military. And reportedly, the military has been in charge this whole time. Now, like Leslie says, well, if they're really in charge, then how come they're letting so many bad things happen? I think she's got a good point. So I don't know. But again, that's the rumor. And by the way, I had my white hat banker <laughs> confirm to me this today. So probably is true. So when Trump invokes the Insurrection Act to deploy the U.S. military against civilians, that's the internal revolution, on his first day in office, do you think he then rescinds the order on day two? No, I think he, and I hope he does, clean up America and remove a lot of the sinners, a lot of the people that are breaking laws. People that haven't been breaking laws, I don't think they have anything to fear. Military exercise in downtown Tampa, Tampa will bring simulated gunfire and low-flying helicopters. Is this practice for the internal revolution? Are these the good guys, the white hats, or are these the bad guys? So it goes on to say low-flying helicopters, simulated gunfire drones, scooter diver, diver, divers. It goes on to say neither convention center, Tampa Riverwalk and Bayshore Boulevard. I've not talked about our books for a long time, so I'm going to take a minute and explain them. First of all, I think this is the very best book that I've ever written, and it's called The Secret Door to Understand Bible Prophecy, but it does not have the word rapture in it, does not discuss it. This is only talking about Bible prophecy. So the story is, in 2017, I memorized the book of Revelation. I got 30 revelations, two visions, and an audible voice. God showed me the word first fruits is a secret door, that links Revelation and the feasts, showing the correct chronological order of Revelation. One prophetic word says there is a lock that I put over a word in the book of Revelation. I'm going to open it to you and it will turn many books written on the end time message into obsolete books. That's this book. Then I next wrote Miss the Mark. And it's for anyone. It's simple. It's, uh, if they read three pages, they'll read the whole book. If they read the whole book, they will never take the mark of the beast. Also, this uh, tribulation sequence in Daniel is just the most important parts of Daniel that someone living in a tribulation needs to know. These are the best prophecies from the last 32 years of study and teaching Bible prophecy from Dimitri Dudema, Michael Boldea, Leslie Johnson, Henry Griever, Shane Warren, Terry Bennett, Maurice Sklar, Augusto Prez, Doug Metzger, Bree Keaton, and more. Each set of these, in other words, this is a set of 10, a set of 10, a set of 5, a set of 10, a set of 5. It's a total of 40 books. You can get one set of each, 40 books, for a gift of $100 at prophecyclub.com. We also put together a watchman's package, which contains two, two foot by three foot charts, and my handwritten book of Revelation, five DVDs uh, on the school of the watchman, and five of the copies of Secret Door to Understand Bible Prophecy, all you value at $355 for a gift of $200. Prophecyclub.com.